Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I've been asked to create some natural cleansing oils and balms, the types that turn from oil or balm to milk during the cleansing process, using only natural materials and materials that small producers can obtain. So this video, I'm going to show you how. These are the products I'm gonna show you how to create. Now, they are very, very gentle on the skin. Uh, they can also remove a lot of your waterproof makeups. As you can see, they go on like an oil, but with a little bit of water, turn milky and provide a very mild, effective, but gentle clean. So now, let me show you how they're made. We're gonna show you with the cleansing oil first. Now I'm gonna show you uh, mixing in a beaker so that you can see what's going on, but you can just as easily create this product hand stirring. Now in this beaker, I have my plant oils and my caprylic capric triglycerides. This particular product feels incredibly soft and beautiful on the skin. Now in this bowl, I have a low HLB emulsifier. I'm using Arlacel 1689. And that's because this is a predominantly oil formula. To this, I am adding a super fatting material. I'm using the Lamasoft PO65. Now this particular material is more water loving. This is what helps it turn into a milk when water is added and also helps the product wash away. I am also in this phase going to be adding my essential oils, my antioxidant and my water based extracts. Now this is really important that this phase is done separately first. And the reason for this is because I need to form an inverse solubilized micelle with my water compatible materials before I add this to the oil phase. So I am in effect making an inverse solubilized product. So now my water soluble materials are on the inside of the micelles formed here. Now I'm going to add this to my oil phase slowly, just like we do when we are solubilizing oil soluble materials in water, except I'm doing it the opposite way around for this product. So I need to add this phase slowly and make sure that it's effectively mixed in and the solution goes back to clear before I continue with each addition. Again, it's just like when we are creating a solubilized mixture where we're putting oil soluble substances into water, except this time we're doing it the opposite way around. We're adding water soluble materials into a bulk oil phase. Just make sure your solution goes back to clear before you keep adding more of the water soluble component. Otherwise you won't end up with this beautiful clear end product. And there we have our mixture. Now, because I have used a propeller mixer and it's only a small sample, it is a little aerated today. This will come out overnight. You can see it's a nice clear product without that air present. Now in a larger batch, that's not a problem. Obviously in a lab using a propeller stirrer, it's a little hard not to introduce air while mixing, but by tomorrow it will look like this beautiful clear oil. Now, let me show you how to create this beautiful cleansing balm. Again, this is a similar type of product. It's just in a balm form. So it's a semi-solid product. Again, you apply it, add a bit of water, mix, and it turns to a beautiful milky substance to be washed away easily. 
another really great makeup removing product that's very gentle and mild to the skin and washes away very easily. Now for the cleansing balm, very similar formulation concept, uh, except now we need to add some waxy materials to help form the balm consistency. Now we can't just use ordinary waxes, otherwise they'd feel very waxy and have a undesirable drag on the skin. So we use low HLB waxy emulsifiers. Again, similar concept, we need to form a inverse solubilized mixture. So while that is heating to melt, I have over here again my liquid low HLB emulsifier, the Arlacel 1689. I have my Lamasoft PO65 again. I'm going to add this in, as well as my water soluble extracts, and form my inverse solubilized mixture. Now this step is critically important to both types of products. Remember, we need to form that inverse solubilized system, otherwise we can't hold those water soluble materials in the oil phase uh, with long term stability. Now we need to make sure that the oil phase is thoroughly melted and combined before we start adding our solubilized mixture. Again, you could hand stir this. I'm simply showing you in the beaker so that you can see what's happening. It is important that you mix the two phases together well, otherwise you won't end up with a stable end product. So if you have any stability issues long term, it would be because you haven't mixed this part properly. Just as you saw with the cleansing oil, as you can see, it's already started to go nice and clear. Um, the rest of those bubbles will go overnight. The cleansing balm, of course, will set, and we want it to set so that it's that balm form. So we need to make sure that it is very well mixed before it cools down to a point that we can no longer pour it. You should also make sure that this starts to look clear, then you know it's mixed sufficiently. It's a little hard for you to see on video, um, but it is, this is now going nice and clear. Like I say, with the cleansing oil, you saw that look turbid, but now you can see uh, it is becoming nice and clear and the rest of that foam will go overnight. Now once this has cooled slightly, we can then add our antioxidant and essential oil and stir that through. Again, we need this to be quite liquid still because we do need to pour this off while it's liquid. And I can see here that it has gone quite clear. Again, a little hard to see on the video, uh, but you can see this mixture here. is nice and clear and still liquid so we can pour it off. And that will set overnight to become our nice balm mixture. Now you can of course contact us for the full formulation and method, absolutely free. We're happy to provide that to you. One of the great things about this formula is I've used natural and naturally derived materials that small producers can get from their smaller suppliers. You can also build a lot of your own unique points of difference into this formula with different types of extracts, essential oils, and vegetable oils in the formula instead of the standard ones I've used. You can also access this formula build through our Create Cosmetic Formulas program. In case you're not confident about making those changes on your own, you can pick and choose what you want in there and the program will put it together the right way for you. As I mentioned, I've created this video because I was asked for it. So remember to keep asking for videos that you'd like to see. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. 
happy formulating!